time is the best time, as I like to say on this channel. Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Week in Geekdom, another haul video, this time for the month of May 2020. Welcome back guys, Geo here, and we're going to highlight all the geeky stuff I acquired. And if you want me to review any of the following things that I'm going to show you, uh, leave a comment down below. Now typically I do videos about anime, comics, manga, and other collectibles and such, but uh, who knows, if you want me to review something from this list, uh, I'd be more than happy to add it to my infinite queue list of things that I want to cover on this channel. First and foremost, thank you so much as of this video, we are nearly there. Just a couple more to 2,000 subscribers, that is amazing and I am humbled beyond belief that 2,000 people subscribe to this channel. I know, compared to so many other people, it seems very small, but I'd rather have 2,000 faithful than, I don't know, uh, hundreds of thousands of people that barely watch videos. But regardless, uh, you're here, you're watching this, that's all that matters. Thank you so very much. Let's start this thing. Uh, I, I'm missing some Viz Media manga. Now, there is a delay going on with those books when it comes to websites like Write Stuff. I've tried contacting them. They don't really care for uh, responding to emails like that, so I am just going to assume it, it'll it arrive whenever it pleases. So, yeah, a lot of manga titles from your Dr. Stones to your Beastars, stuff like that, is unfortunately missing from this video. However, I do have a little bit of everything. Even though the title says uh, anime and manga, I tend to collect a little bit of everything from gaming to comics, all that fun stuff. So here we have the final volumes of Doro Hedoro. I finally have the complete series. Here we have volume 19, which is pretty radical. I think this is my only orange uh, based cover in my collection, that's pretty cool. Here we have, same with this, violet color, purplish, uh, <laughs> volume 20 of Doro Edoro. Here we have volume 21, and I like uh, these thick books compared, you can see it on the back of my head right there, compared to the first couple volumes. Uh, they were so uh, tiny, and this is uh, getting bigger and bigger as the series ends. Here's volume 22, look at that thick boy. And of course, uh, the biggest one is volume 23, the last one. Extremely massive, look at that thing. You know, the anime was released worldwide recently as of this video, so a lot of people are jumping into the series, and hopefully I get to read this uh, sooner than later and do like a proper series review on uh, the franchise. Anime-wise, I did get the first season, freaking finally, after so many years, I, what was this, 2016? Finally, Konosuba is released on Blu-ray, so here we have the first season and the OVA episode. This is awesome. I cannot wait to have season two as well uh, in Blu-ray. Just keep them coming. So that's it for anime. I did order a couple more series. I saw that uh, Demon Slayer is out for pre-order and I am 90% sure that I am going to get it even though it's extremely expensive but it's a series that I really loved. Uh, I love the manga and uh, the anime was just breathtakingly awesome episode to episode. I loved it and I, I think I'm gonna have to get it. There is a cheaper version coming with the Funimation version which is probably just gonna be similar to this. Just a uh, you know, just a single release with a slipcover, but uh, who knows? I, I don't. I, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> let's let's wait and see. As for regular movies, because we're on the subject of Blu-rays, I did get the 4K release of Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker to finish off the Star Wars set. A bit of a mixed movie. Uh, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people just do not care. I gotta be honest with you, as of this video, I still haven't seen this. I got this for cheap off of eBay, and I'm excited just to finish off the thing, even if I don't like it, or even if I do like it, I just want to finish off the, uh, the sequel trilogy. But it's pretty interesting. I, I, like, I do like the slipcover. I think it's pretty cool looking. So I got that. Uh, I needed to get this to, you know, 
to boost up the uh, anime-based <laughs> collection. I don't know what that means, but here is Alita Battle Angel. I've never read the manga. I do remember the anime, watching it way back, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to watch this. I haven't seen it, and eventually uh, read the manga as well, because uh, everybody keeps telling me, hey, you gotta read the manga. Video game-wise, I've been getting a ton of stuff. Well, not, you know, relative to the size of this channel and my budget. For me, it's a lot. But I'm filling out my Xbox One collection, and I love that the upcoming Series X, you can get a game for, uh, let's say, Cyberpunk 2077, and you can play it on your Xbox One and on the Series X. That is awesome. I love that. But regardless, I have, I've had my Xbox for a couple of years now, uh, three years now, and I wasn't doing anything with it. You know, I wanted to use that thing instead of just relying on the 4K player. I wanted to do the main thing it was built for, which was gaming. So I'm slowly trying to get uh, all the Xbox games that seem interesting to me, that appeal to me. And one of the interesting details is that you can get a bunch of really great third-party games and even first-party for cheap money online. I'm talking less than 20 bucks. Uh, for like 50 bucks, you can haul three or four games easily of good quality. So. With that said, I did get Indivisible on Xbox One, Rise, Son of Rome, and ReCore. Now, I also did grab a couple more titles that did not arrive for this recording, including Fables Wolf Among Us. Uh, what was the other one? I Am um, The Crew 2. And I am getting the Gears franchise bit by bit because I am I have been enjoying playing those games. So yeah, building out my Xbox collection, I guess. I can't show you guys physically because I don't have them, but I have bought a ton of Switch online titles only or digital only. Uh, I got Animal Crossing because uh, with the lockdowns and all that stuff, I couldn't get a physical copy. And I just wanted to play the thing, so whatever, I, I went ahead and, and got the game digitally, and I've been loving that. Uh, I'm not a huge player of Animal Crossing, like this is my first time jumping in into that world, and I've put probably like a hundred and some hours, which is relatively tiny compared to other people that have already done like 250, 300 hours playing that game and just building epic landscapes. I'm just in it for the fun, you know keeping the people, the village happy and the island and uh, just doing simple things and uh, buying and selling fruit and the turnip stuff. I'm just taking it easy. I just want to clear my mind when I'm playing that game. So I don't do a whole ton. Only now I started going deep into the landscaping and terraforming and stuff because I wanted to change things up. So we'll see. Eventually, um, maybe I'll do a, a little tour video just for fun of my island whenever whenever that's done. I also got on the eShop Horizon Chase Turbo, which is an arcade racing game. I've really been loving it. I'm not a fan of the racing simulators. I always prefer arcade stuff over that. Same with sports titles. I don't like sports game at all. But when it comes to arcade sports games, I really enjoy that stuff. I love that you are taking a larger than life approach and, and you don't really care about the rules and you're just having fun. That's what I like. And with Horizon Chase, it really reminds me of OutRun and all those classic uh, 90s uh, racing games that I used to play in arcades and Sega consoles and all that stuff. So I've really been enjoying that game a ton. Uh, it's it's really awesome. The visuals and the glorious soundtrack, which is one of my favorite things about it. And another game I recently acquired was Sayonara Wild Hearts on the eShop. Beautiful looking game. I love the visuals and the sound and gameplay and all that stuff. Just top notch. I've really been enjoying playing that. Okay, let's move on finally to the last portion. I didn't get any figurines or statues or none of that, but I did get a few comic titles that I wanted to highlight. I'm finally uh, grabbing the last volume of Scooby Apocalypse. I had volumes one through five. This is the sixth and final volume. So I'm pretty excited to see how the story wraps up. I, I love that quirky uh, zombie reimagining, if you will. 
Another series that I recently made a video of is Birthright. This is volume eight, so I'm up to date with this series. I do believe we have one more trade paperback to go and we'll have the whole thing in collected edition. And finally, I got the Ultimate Sky Doll Collection hardcover. This thing is absolutely gorgeous from uh, the cover to the dust jacket to everything about it. Just really awesome stuff in my honest opinion. I did a video on my channel doing uh, an overview of uh, the book if you want to check it out. But yeah, really cool stuff on Skydoll. Happy to finally own the whole series and hopefully bring out a review for you guys about Skydoll. So that's it. That is the haul. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you want me to talk about a book or an anime or something, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd be more than happy to do so. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, following me on social media. That all That is awesome as well. Hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. And if you are interested, I do have a merch store. The link is in the description below. I currently only have one shirt, but there are some ideas incoming. And in the couple in a couple more months, I will be uploading different designs and stuff that hopefully you guys are into. Uh, just some fun, quirky, uh, minimalistic designs that I, I think would look cool on a shirt. So yeah, it's a great way to support the channel if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Just viewing, subscribing, and, and just being a part of a Weekend Geek them is more than enough. Thank you so much. I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.